Hey there! Today we're going to learn about counting dollar bills and coins. Let's start with reviewing coins. Here we have four coins. The first one is called a penny and it is worth one cent. The second one is a nickel, which is worth five cents. The next one is a dime. It's worth 10 cents. Lastly, we have a quarter, which is equal to 25 cents. As you can see, this is the symbol for cent and it is placed after the number. If we have 100 cents, that's equal to one dollar. Instead of a coin though, we have a one dollar bill. Notice how this time the dollar symbol is put before the number? Now that we are familiar with the coins and the dollar bill, let's practice counting money by helping our friend Edward. Edward found some coins on the ground. He found one nickel and six pennies. How much did he find? One nickel is worth five cents and one penny is worth one cent. So if he found one nickel and six pennies, it's worth five cents plus one cent 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 plus one cent, which is equal to 11 cents. However, before he found these coins, Edward already had five dollar bills and three quarters. So how much money does he have now? One dollar bill is equal to one dollar. This means five dollar bills is worth five dollars. And since one quarter equals 25 cents, three quarters means adding 25 cents plus 25 cents plus 25 cents. So three quarters is worth 75 cents. Five dollars and 75 cents can be written like this. Remember that Edward found 11 cents? Let's add that to the money he already had. Since we're adding 11 cents, we can add it to the cents and just bring back the $5 later. Let's write them again in a column and add the ones. Five plus one equals six. Adding the tens, we'll have seven plus one equals eight. So all together, Edward has $5.86. Now Edward wants to eat, so he bought some snacks with two dimes and one quarter. Can you figure out how much money he has left? A dime is worth 10 cents and a quarter is worth 25 cents. So if we have two dimes and one quarter, we need to add 10 cents plus 10 cents plus 25 cents. So Edward spent 45 cents for his snacks. Let's subtract that from the $5.86 he has. Like earlier, we only have to work with the cents. 86 cents minus 
45 cents. Subtracting the ones place, we'll have six minus five equals one. And then the tens, eight minus four equals four. Edward is left with five dollars and 41 cents. Excellent job. I hope that helped you learn more about counting $1 bills and coins. See you again soon. Are you looking for more fun ways to learn math? Check out Bottle Learning and access thousands of math skills all through a fun 3D game. Just visit BottleLearning.com and sign up today.